Chicago, more than 4,000 people were shot last year alone. And the murder rate so far this year has been even higher. This is not acceptable in our society. Okay. Hello to all the cuties out there. I'm sorry I had to turn that off. I'm very much into politics, you guys. I am into politics like nobody's business. I am such a poli political buff. I love politics. But enough of that. Alrighty. I um and this is my name is Critty and welcome to my channel. And um I'm gonna give you an update and welcome to all the cuties out there. Really am happy. Yes, Chandler. It's not ready yet, Chandler. Um, can you give mommy a minute? Okay. Okay. One second. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, that's my little one. It's Chandler. He's five. Okay. So. Okay. I I just want to tell you that I'm very depressed because I um got on the scale this morning and when I got on the scale well let me just start off by giving you my stats last year in January let me turn this little fan off it is hot in here it's so hot it's it's burning up hot but I, I don't know if you can hear me well um last year when I um got approved uh, when I started the whole journey I was 357 pounds and on October the 25th, um, I had the surgery, gastric sleeve surgery, and I was 326. I had the surgery at Henry Ford Hospital with Dr. Carlin. Um, love Dr. Carlin. Dr. Carlin. Oh, my goodness. So, I'm going to tell you about him. Um, and then, um, currently, my weight is 286. I was 285 three week, two weeks ago and I was so happy because I finally broke through that little plateau where I was um, sitting at a standstill for about three weeks okay so I was down to 285 and I don't know why I'm um, one pound up considering that I only eat between 1,000 and 1,200 calories a day. Actually, I was at 700 calories a day, and my doctors told me to eat more, and I did, and I lost those three pounds, and now I gained a pound back. I'm so frustrated. Oh my God, I'm just so frustrated. It's just so annoying because I had the surgery, and I see other YouTubers who, or other people who had the surgery, and they are further along, and I know I shouldn't judge and and compare myself but I can't help it I can't help it you know so I've lost um a total of 71 pounds and a total of 40 since the surgery so it's been about four months so anyway so I, I I'm just really frustrated I don't know what else to do and the day let me tell you the day um is the 28th of February so it's Poonski Day. Yes, Poonski Day. Oh my God, Poonski Day. Let me tell you about Poonski Day. Okay. You know what's weird? When you spell Poonski, it doesn't look like it's spelled. Like when you spell it. Don't it look really odd? It looks really crazy. Because when I was, um, I just, you know, I want to find out and Google Poonski Day and origination of Poonski Day. And I had a hard time spelling it. I'm like, what's wrong with me? What is then I realized the spelling is really weird. So, um, yeah, but let me tell you, today um we had Punchki Day and at my job, my manager brought in his set of punchkis and I told him yesterday, if you do, I like the cream cheese cream cheese punchki. So he brought all these punchkis in and then my one of my um wonderful coworkers slash friends also brought Punchkies. So I'm like, oh my god, all these punchkies. And so I took a punchki, and because you know you had a surgery, you can't eat much. I 
cut one in half and I'm it took me all day to eat that half and I brought some home yeah and so I don't know I'm depressed maybe I should go downstairs and eat the other half I don't know I don't know but I'm just so depressed so you just don't know I'm just, I, 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 oh my god I don't understand why am I at a standstill I mean I when I look back on my weight even in December the weight I'm I'm like within the same five pounds. I don't I don't understand this. So it's frustrating. But enough of that. Let me tell you. I have my um wonderful subscribers. I've reached a hundred. I'm so excited. Um a hundred to me is like a thousand ten thousand. I mean I'm just excited at a hundred as anyone would be at fifty. I'm I'm really excited because it's like a family and we give each other great advice and encouragement. Um and it's very um enlightening and I met two subscribers um who left me messages um, one who had the same surgeon and one who was about to have the surgery, um, with the same surgeon. So, um, Dr. Carlin. So I had, two, I have two awesome doctors. One was my primary care physician and one is Dr. Carlin. So let me tell you about my primary care at Henry Ford, Dr. Perkmick. Let me tell you, I went on my physical and every year I go on my physical and this is my first time having her. This was about a year and a half ago. And she gave me this speech. And I'm in there with my physical. And I'm like, really? Am I really about to listen to a speech right now? Yeah. But I listened to her. And this is what she said. I'm going to act like her. She says, Crystal, let me tell you, when I was younger, I wanted to get my molars out, but I never did. And yet they were painful. I knew I had to do them, but I never did. Years, fast forward 15, 20 years, um, those molars still bothered me. They progressively were worse, and I knew I had to get those molars out. Never did. She said, I went to a dentist, and every year they would say, I think you need to get your molars out. And she says, you know, doctors make the worst patients. I never did it. I didn't listen. Year after year. Finally, I went to get my normal appointment, teeth cleaned, and the dentist came out. And you know what he said? He said, you know what? I'm scheduling the appointment to get your molars out. You're going to get a referral, and they're going to come out. And he scheduled it. And I'm sitting there with my mouth open, and I said, wow. He's right, and I'm going to let it happen. So she says to me, no, I'm acting like myself now. Um, she told me, I'm telling you that every year you come in here and you're getting heavier and heavier and heavier and heavier. And I am scheduling you to have bariatric surgery. I'm not suggesting it. I'm scheduling it. And she did. And she started that, um, and I was scared to do it. And every year I would just like, no, I'm not doing it. I'm going to try to diet on my own. But sometimes you need that push. You need that. You you have to, it, it's amazing how you could be right there on the edge on the decision on to do it. And she gave me that push. And she just scheduled it. Didn't even ask me. Just scheduled it. I went to the appointment, and then that's when I met Dr. Carlin. Um, after the consultation, he told me how much weight he wants me to lose before the surgery. And this man saved my life. I tell you that if it weren't for those two doctors, I mean, I, my feet was so swollen. My, um, I had a fallen arch. I was walking around with a cane for about a couple of weeks. I even had a walker at home. It was so painful. My legs were swell. I had edema on my right leg. Um, my breathing was bad. I didn't have the mobility. I didn't have energy. She just scheduled it. And then when I met this surgeon... He just put me at ease. It was like we were at in tune with each other. I'm like, wow, God works in mysterious ways. God did this for me. And it was like the angels were singing and the clouds parted. That's how great it was. And then the day of surgery, I was so scared. I was having anxiety because I was thinking I was going to die on the table. I was just worried. And this man... 
he came in and I was just nervous. All these people in blue, you know, the operating gear that they have on and the hats and the little things over their mouth. All you could see is their eyes. And it was just amazing. I was just started crying and my auntie was there. And my mom was there and I just started bought. You just, it was unbelievable. Dr. Carlin saw this and he put his hand on my shoulder and he says, Crystal, I can do this in my sleep. Crystal, I do this with my I can do this with my eyes closed. You're in good hands. This team is awesome. You are in good hands. Do not worry. You're about to get your life back. Oh my God. Instantly I just started feeling so much better. And when they rolled me in there and then they put that whatever that is over my mouth, I started counting back. Of course they had you count back. I, next thing you know, I'm waking up in the recovery room. And it was the best decision I ever had. And I just want to tell you, for those of you who are about to have it or who are thinking about having it, think about your life and what you're going to get back. Um, it's just unbelievable. And even though I have not lost as much weight as I wanted, the mere fact that I am so much further along and losing weight than I ever would have been on my own. Every time I tried to lose weight on my own, I would gain back the weight plus some. So this is really teaching me great eating habits and it's teaching me how to um, have a lifestyle change. And I'm just so blessed for that. And so these two subscribers, I wish I would have wrote their names down who says, I'm about to have um, my surgery, and we have the same doctor, oh my goodness, the same doctor, Dr. Carlin for Den Henry Ford, um, Detroit Henry Ford Hospital. I just, um, I'm just so happy for them. And um, I think one had it already, and one is about to have it. So that's why um, I'm just happy to have the subscribers that I have. I'm very excited, and thank you. Um, um, one other thing I want to say before, and I'm going to let you go. Um, other than um, the surgery and the wonderful experience that I had with my doctors, is for I don't know if anybody else have had this, but I had a hernia repair also with my surgery, and I found that a lot of um, people who had the bariatric surgery have hernia repairs also. So I just wanted to see if any of you guys who've had the surgery, have you had a hernia repair too? Um, I didn't even know about this until my doctor told me, you know, when they came into the op the um, recovery room and they said that I had a hernia and I had to do the hernia repair. So really I had two surgeries in one. So I just wanted to see if anybody else had the same thing too. So it's, it's a little adding on to the recovery time. It's harder to have things swallow after that. So I just want to, to gauge and see if you guys had that as well, if you had it already. So that's all. I wanted to just give you guys an update. Thank you so much for watching I'm going to give you another update in maybe a week or two and I'm still learning on how to put my pictures on with this video um, I'm really stuck back in the 80s so you guys bear with me I know it's a way to put the pictures in the video I just haven't learned it yet so I'm working on that thank you so much for watching love you guys and please subscribe and like this video bye